You're starting your final year at uh, Fiat Chrysler. Yep. VW just named the new CEO. What's going on in the auto industry? I think it's time for change. You know, it, it's all these transitions as cycles. Right? So, um, I mean, if Carlos, Carlos gone eventually, we'll have to give up, although I think he's going to live forever. But I think Dieter, we're all getting to the point where we've, we've put in 10, 15 years worth of of a life as a CEO, and I think it's time to pass the bite on to somebody else. We've seen this happen with the banks. You know, we've seen John Cryan now. Yeah. So it, it's time for change, which is a good thing. But do you think it's, you know, it's by accident that this is happening while like, the, all the technologies are happening? I think it's pure accident, to be perfectly honest. I don't think there's a desire on the part of any of us to withdraw from, the, from engagement. That's not, I think we've laid, all of us have in our own way, laid the groundwork for allowing our organizations to deal with a technological shift. I think it's just time. It's age. You know? People get old. I, 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 saw, <laughs> I, I saw you moving along in a very yeah. pain, pained and painful way this <laughs> afternoon. It impacts everybody, trust me. That's true. You, you said today something that your U.S. competitor may see as bold. You said, I don't have a doubt that eventually we'll, we'll have the highest profit margin in, the industry, in North America. Right. I don't have a single doubt. I think all the, simply because of all the work that's gone on in terms of brand building and the reindustrialization of the footprint in the United States has put us in an enviable position of being able to play in segments that allow us to generate margins which are leading leading edge margins for the sector. So I think you know, when it happens, I can't tell you. I mean, obviously, I have a desire that it happened in the, far, the last quarter of my tenure. Because I think you would set benchmark performance on my way out. If I can't get there, I'll get close enough. And you said today that if you were a tie June 1st, means a dividend might, might be coming. That means or could be already on your last year as CEO? I don't, look, the question is, if it's true yeah. that we're going to make the target for 18, and that we're going to end up with $4 billion of cash at year end, the question about how you deal with that capital, which is the machine becomes cash generative, is a big issue. One of the things that we'll present to the market on June 1st, it's for the first time since 2007, is a view as to how we will treat shareholders in terms of share repurchase and dividend distributions. We'll wait and see what the so proposal is. So do you mean you would probably have the ability to pay a dividend to And I think it needs, to become, it needs to become endemic to the structure because okay. if that's the cycle time with which um, we perform financially, then I think you need to make it part of policy. And policy is something that... I think will obviously impact positively on the performance of the stock going forward. We have never been in this position because we've had this maniacal fixation with reducing debt yeah. to zero. <laughs> you know, the day I wear a tie is going to be a big day. <laughs> yeah, we know. we know. So it's time to give something back to shareholders. Probably. It's time to give back to shareholders. And, and to reward them for the faith they've had in us in the last 15 years. Yeah, I mean, the share price probably is a good reward. Yeah, right? I know, but I think we can give them more. Uh, final two questions. I speak with many investors. They see your departure as a moment of weakness for the organization. No. No, I, no. actually, it should be taken as a moment of strength. You know, these, re these renewals right, are healthy. Right? It, I was, we were making reference about succession in the press conference. You know, we, one of the great things about FCA is that you know, we've got this gym, right? In not a nice gym, it smells all the time. People wear socks; they're tired all the time. They, you know, we do produce good leaders, and I think these leaders need to have a chance to, to, to run. They're younger than me. I think they've all. It's a great business school, right? It may not be perfect, but it's a great business school. I think these kids need the space. Let them run. And let me conclude with Ferrari. So, a full electric Ferrari is not coming by 2022. No, but you will see. In my view, I think you will see the full power of electrification embodied in the car. Okay. So you will understand what it can do if it's used properly. I mean, there was a, I think there was a car in Fiorano running with Very a, a silent Ferrari. That mean you will, you, you, that's mean you, you can ha you, your hybrid would be a plug-in hybrid, right? The first one? You, you're not going to say. They the could exist a silent Ferrari. It's not a you could run a, blasphemy. No, sir. There could be a Ferrari that you could run silently.